email and website being displayed on the screen. Do you know that this is the first time in history that this kind of online tutorial will be powered by an A-level center and it is brought to you by Lanco Theory Educational Services Limited, particularly during this lockdown period so that you can enjoy your lectures while sitting at home. Our next topic our next topic is independence of judiciary. What do we mean by independence of judiciary? We'll be looking at this in this. What do we mean by independence of judiciary? It is the ability of the third arm of government, that is the judiciary, to carry out their functions without having sympathy for anyone in the society, without favoring anyone in the society, without being afraid of anyone in the society. That is independence of judiciary, carrying out functions without fear of favor. This is most times common in third world countries, whereby the principal officers of the judiciary are appointed by the head of the executive and most times they are expected to dance to the tune of the person that appointed them and if they don't do that they will be sacked or fired over the years we have always advocated for the independence of judiciary in every country including nigeria and that is why we have always said that in the appointment of the of the, of the members of the judiciary then they should distinguish the appointment from the president. It should, it should not be that the president will appoint and at the same time have the right to fire. What if this president has a case before the judiciary? Then they are likely to dance to the tune of the judiciary. So in the appointment of the members of the judiciary, then it should not be the president or the governors that will appointing the members of the judiciary. It should be an external independent body should be an external independent body that we have the final say in the appointment of the judiciary so that the judiciary can carry out their functions without fear or fear. The next thing to be considered is the security of them. To have a guaranteed independence of judiciary in Nigeria, then the tenure of the judges must be secured. We should not have a situation where a judge can be thrown out of the office, even when he has not been found guilty by the court of, by, by the court of law. So a judge must have a secured tenure, not a tenure that can be terminated at any time. Another one is the remuneration. Of judges. Judges must be remunerated from a direct fund and not a fund that is subject to the approval of anybody. If the remuneration of the judges are subject to the approval of anybody, then they are likely to be afraid of that person even when that person has a case in court. So to avoid that, then they should be paid directly from the consolidated fund which is not subject to the approval of anybody. And lastly, we have the judicial review. The judges must have absolute power to review any action of either the government agencies or the head of the executive or the other organs of government. In such a way that if they are illegal or not in connection or in line with the provisions of the constitution, then it must be null and void and the court must not be afraid of anyone before, the, before these decisions can be taken. Let me remind you that this online tutorial class was brought to you by Lanco Theory Educational Services Limited, where we educate with fish. The number is displayed on the board for further inquiries, and the email and the website is equally displayed on your screen. The online tutorial continues, but in our next topic, we'll be looking at fundamental human rights. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.